Hey gamers, this is Eric. I just wanted to do the second unboxing of the tinyfurniture.com's miniatures. It arrived and let's go ahead and do the unboxing now. And what I purchased was about all of the miniatures that they have when it comes to fantasy terrain. All of these are pre-painted. So we'll be taking them out of the box and looking at what each miniature looks like. So let's start with giving you an idea of how it's packaged. This shows you some of the packaging. And this is the second shipment. It takes about nine months or so. Um, I asked them to give me the best painters they had for each area, like for furniture or for people. So this took about a year. Remember, this is during COVID, so um, the shipping time and the delay was quite quite a bit. The delay after it got to America was about six weeks to get it through customs before it got to me. So we're going to pause for a moment now, and I'm going to pre-unwrap each of these, and then we can move the video forward a little bit faster. Okay, we have all of the items unwrapped, and we're going to start opening them up then now. And taking a look at the quality. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, the last half, um, the packing seems rather crude to me, but it does seem effective because in the last shipment of a hundred or so items, nothing came broke. So we can take a look here at these boots. Looks like a cup and some slippers. And you can probably see that again, the, the detail is just incredible, as it was in the last shipment. This here goes along with the set. Everything just looks very, very lifelike. Um, we're repositioning these items so you can see them a little better in the light and whoops you'll notice we've just found out the drawers actually come off looks like on a little shoe shine kit I guess that's what that is and then here's another one on the boots the slippers and the little cup Go ahead and open up another one. Looks like a fence of some sort. Looks like the little pieces that go on the top here. Hey guys, we had to figure out because again it's been about a year. You can see over here in the laptop we had to figure out now where how do we put this fence together? So we we found that there was a missing part um, that we hadn't opened yet. And here are the bases that go along with that. So we're going to um, pause for a moment and go ahead and assemble this so you can take a, a look at it. But um, man, just as always, the, every piece I've seen so far it just looks so realistic and so defined. So we're going to pause for a moment and take these and put them on the top. I'm going to show you how we do one. Let's 
see here. Yeah, a little hexagon top. That's nice. That means that uh, it should fit pretty well. Maybe not. There we go. All right. And then I believe the gate pieces just slide in. Yep, right there. And they're on each of the four sides. You can see there. So if your gate needs to take a 45 degree turn or go this way or that way, then they're each on each, each of the sides. How cool is that? Go. Hey gamers, um, I haven't been very impressed with the fence. Um, it's pretty delicate and right here you can see that I, I broke part of the top. I was trying to get this piece in and my fingers hand slipped and the pieces here um, broke off and um, at least for me the tops of these have been hard to put on and because some of the top right here it's not quite that smooth and even when I got this one on I was trying to assemble for you it just popped back off again so the quality of the painting is excellent but in my opinion this needs some work um, I've already broke one piece and I'm having a lot of trouble trying to get the other pieces and we're waiting to see if the other lanterns are in the package as well because we're missing you know probably about six of the lantern tops as well so let's move on to the next piece okay let's see what else we have here look at the kind of the worn look that's pretty amazing look at that Now, again, I have no idea how to install this, so we're going to pause for a moment and see what this looks like. They don't come with instructions. No. Hey, gamers, we don't know where the rest of this part is here. We've already been through everything. It doesn't sit very sturdy. Um, I can't keep the back on. This pretty much gets an F as it stands right now. It's, it's, it's basically useless. It's not stable. I don't have the parts. So we'll set this over here. Even though the painting is great, it's pretty much useless at this point until we figure it out. We don't have instructions. We don't even have a list of what was shipped, um, as far as I can tell. So right now I'm getting more, less and less impressed. Um, the quality is great, but what good is this piece like it stands right now? Nothing. It can't even stand up. So we'll move on to the next piece and see if maybe I've missed looking for some other parts. All right. Absolutely amazing. Look at that. That is incredible. Wow. And you don't see tents like that in other places, that's for sure. A good size for 25 millimeter characters, but the bases are solid, so you can't put someone in there. And look at that. Talk about bed rolls. Or actually, those would actually be uh, carpets, rolled up carpets, actually, if like for a carpet seller. So maybe there's a tin in here that has a, like a carpet seller or something like that. You can actually see the, the actual texture on these. Isn't that something? I mean, 
really looks like there's little pieces of twine on there. Another one of the stalls, but at least I'm finding the one, the items for the fish market stall. I think that was the meat stall we were looking at earlier. Here are some of the pieces. There we go. Some of the lobsters. Crabs. Isn't that amazing? what that is fish of some type but I don't eat fish so who knows you shall have to tell me in the comments couple empty buckets there there is a, a crate with some rope on it isn't that amazing look at that and there is the legs for the stall stall. This one was like the last one and I couldn't get it to stand up. It's a pretty simple process of just sticking in the legs. Let's see that one does. This Couldn't get the back to seem to sit in there very well. And you can't be, you can't pry this stuff because you'll break it. That, that doesn't seem to fit. That doesn't seem to fit. It, it's just, it just doesn't work. That's supposed to fit in there somehow the crooked. See what I mean? Again, folks, this is just a waste. I mean, this is not even worth my money if I can't even get the thing to stand up. It's just really very aggravating, actually. And what good's a stall if you can't actually have it stand up? I don't, I must be missing something. So we'll just move on. But so far, another F when it comes to the stalls. Don't buy them if this is going to be the case. Fireplace. Amazing detail again. This is the orc furniture, and man, that is amazing. Look at that. Wow. I mean, it's definitely worth putting some orcs in your campaign just to use that kind of furniture. If you recall my previous video, I had some other orc thrones and things like that, or orc, orc tables and chairs, if I remember correctly. Man, that will complement it well. Look at that. That is amazing. Okay, we have some furniture which looks like uh, some 
wood and some other items on it. And this is uh, like to put up on the walls. I can't, you know, you have to use some tacky putty or something like that, but uh, man, very, very fine detail. Here's another example. Wow, that's just amazing. Keep the show moving forward. Oops, that's that side there. Oops. Looks like bed rolls. Wow. That is some nice looking items on the bed rolls. Shields, daggers. Looks like uh, maybe a sheave, yeah, sheave sword. Uh, necklace, and nice. Looks like now we're into torture chairs. And one seems to be occupied. Talk about not having a good day. Again, excellent detail. You can even see the chain around his neck. Look inside. Wow. Looks like you can even see the fungus and the grown in the bottom. That's amazing. In there as well, the you can see the water matches the basins. Matches the whatever that thing is. The big one. Just amazing painting, truly amazing. Folks, I found some more of the fence and here are the lamps that I think were missing from earlier. So we did find the lantern heads. Um, so we've got more fence. I think we're good there. All right, let's move on. Look at that. As we turn it around, 
There's even more on the other side. Can you imagine the number of hours it took just to paint that? And the detail is just crazy. Let's keep them, let's keep them moving. And looks like the perfect type of tavern piece. No decoration on the back of this one. You can see there is on the sides and the front because this is probably meant obviously to lean up against the wall. That makes perfect sense. Ah, now that's a throne chair for an orc if I've ever seen one or any other evil person. Wow. Let's pull this back out and take a look. And the size of these tents kind of makes sense. All sort of like the same kind of piece, if you ask me. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Look what just showed up. So let's pull that back out. Kind of get a comparison. Looks pretty consistent to me. <laughs> like almost identical. It really does actually look identical. Wow. Obviously, we're looking at bedroom furniture. And that looks like, I'm not sure what it is. Maybe a, uh, oh, you know what? That's probably one of those lanterns, uh, little candles you carry with you at night when you're walking through the house. I think that's what that might be. Amazing detail.
Well, should I try a third time to put together a stall? I don't seem to have much luck with this. Let's give her a shot. That one's already loose. Tell from the previous one that that's not going to work out very well. Maybe it sticks. No. Still loose. like this. Oh. I still still incredibly impressed with the painting but but not the construction All right, let's see what we got on the next one Closer look. Wow. It looks great. Oh, wow. Want to have some eggs hatching from a spider or something? There you go. Man. That looks really nasty. Wow. Looks like we got some more. Lantern posts for our fence. So. Now I'm, now I'm back to being short lantern heads. That's not going to be near enough. I was short with the last one. So it looks like we're missing another bag like this possibly. I think this is this yeah this is the stuff here for the um, butchers um, stall the first one this one that we looked up because we were missing some parts but um, I'm wondering where's the rest of the hanging meat that was in the photo because I, I made sure I bought everything so I don't and there were some hanging items and pieces that I don't see yet maybe they're in one of these boxes over here so here's more for this part. See the shoulders of meat. I'll get a closer look at the that there. Of course, just a crate. 
couple of sacks. Lastly, we have what was in all of the boxes. I think most of these are going to be human figures or, you know, some type of humanoids. What I don't like about their figures is they seem to have, everyone has the same base. So I wish they were a little bit more creative with their bases. There is, I don't know if you can... Most of them do stand up pretty good on their own, but they, uh, well, I would pick one that doesn't seem to be doing that. So it looks like I'll hold it by the tip. These figures, from my experience already, are pretty fragile. Um, I'm assuming they are resin, but they are kind of fragile. And they're very light. They don't even weigh, I would think, not even an ounce. There's your sleeping guard. He looks impressive. those same kind of bases. One's a little bit bigger. I guess that's for the man and the boy. Wow. 
That's pretty incredible for a beggar. Isn't that something? Here's one of the vases that came out. I'm not sure what that goes to yet. Wow. Look at that. She's got one foot showing. Isn't that neat? Pirate. I'm not sure if he goes there or what, which one goes there, but I'll have to figure that out later. Oh, wait a minute, there's more. I guess all four of them, I would think that this one probably goes there. And then, not sure. Guess they do change up their bases some. <clears throat> He might actually be a zombie, it looks like. One of the bases has blood on it, so we'll see which one that might possibly go with. Another sleeping guard. You gotta have more than one, right? Especially if there's two on duty. Both gotta be sleeping, right? Well, let's just make it three. Looks like we got our bard. And there's your damsel. One of the things I like about their figures is um, they don't overshade the, the corners like their cheekbones and things like that. So they do look very realistic. Whatever that is, looks like a tambourine in someone's hand may have broke off. That was in the box. Yeah, it looks like we have a damaged figure. And there looks like where it came from. They were wrapped together with the bear and the bear broke off his hand. Like I mentioned earlier, their packing is rather crude. Um, and there's a result of what happens when you just put something together in a tissue box. It wasn't another box. It was in this box. But 
you know, inside the bigger box, but obviously that didn't do the job. And there's the boy playing with his ring. More of our fish stall items. Hanging vegetables. Very realistic. I remember before you have to, like I did on the previous item, you simply just take a dot of the super glue and glue that up. That's very, very simple to do. Could be. Okay, well it looks like Well here's the rest of the meat market. It did show up. that sign I was referring to earlier, like where's a little pig sign, isn't that cool? More of those fruits and veggies there. Not sure what that is, what kind of food they, you know, that's supposed to be. There's the blood on the butcher block, I remember now that I've seen it. <laughs> Would you look at that, isn't that cool? the apron and stuff. A little rope basket. Anyone hungry for a, a shoulder of beef? that other rack. There's what will be hanging from it. Oops. Oh man, a little bitty rabbit hanging from it. Two rabbits. Some more items to hang. Three rabbits. Another turkey. Three turkeys. And what I didn't like is like in the box just loose, here you've got two items that could have easily gotten lost. The 
cleaver. A cleaver and a stake. They really should have put those in like a little Ziploc bag. Here's our last box. And it looks like a fireplace. Campfire. Once again, look at the top of those logs. It's just amazing detail. There's the fire. Look at that blade. Isn't that something? Well, I guess I should have waited to put the pot on. You see the axe. There are little notches in it. Uh, I don't know how how well they're working to keep it on there by just not bumping it, but kind of gives you an idea. Hand crossbow. Another hand axe. And the last two items in the shipment are two shields. Uh, overall, my assessment as I was the last time, very happy with the extremely high quality. I don't know of any other company that, that does this near a good a job um, for their items. We'll pan around and give you one more shot of kind of, of everything. Uh, however, they need to do a better job of listing the items that are, that are in that course. We're talking to have a big order. Most people probably don't order this much at a time. Um, and we do have the, the damaged item of the bear, uh, the bear handler's hand that broke off. And we're missing some lanterns to go with the gates. Uh, but it's extremely high quality and we'll, um, maybe I can update you on the stall situation, but I'm not happy at all with the stalls. I mean, I, they, they can't even stand up but I could be doing something wrong. So, which is, seems obvious when you have something of this high quality, um, surely they would have figured out that they're not gonna send me wobbly stalls. So, thanks everyone for watching.